Hello guys, Silver5150 here and I'm back. Thanks for joining us today. Um, this is a shout out to Silver Game of Thrones who initially kicked this whole thing off. He did a nice prepper video last week and if you guys haven't seen it, you need to go see it. Alright, we're just going to start off right man because, um, you know what, without the big guy, none of this would be possible. Uh, Father God, please let this go well today so that my um, Silver5150 family will benefit from this. All right? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Amen. So, first thing, of course, uh, Mike, uh, Silver Gamers, was talking about, you want security. Now, here we have, um, this is basically a, a standard pellet gun. All right? A standard pellet gun, 177. All right? Gamal. And, you know, it's, it's a lower-end pellet gun. But if you're just going to be shooting squab or squirrels to try to make some extra meat, get some extra meat in your freezer, it's perfectly fine. This right here is my sweet baby butter. This is a buttery, syrupy, wonderful to fire, NASA modified <laughs> 30 out 6 And this thing can hit 1,200 yards any day of the week. You can zero it cold, probably in about nine rounds, and it's a lovely, lovely piece. Here, this is um, <laughs> my riot gun. It's my riot gun. This is something I keep um, close at hand all the time, ready to go um, in case there's trouble at the house. Okay. And this one here, um, these are both, by the way, these are both Mossberg, Mossberg 88s. You can get Mossberg 88s. I think they're probably the cheapest shotgun out there, if not close. Um, for around $200, $300, um, you can get, you know, riot version or you can get the longer version, um, depending on where you're at, what state you're in. All right, and so these 12 gauge shotguns. These are Mossbergs. And this one here, I love to shoot skeet with. Um, I'd like to be a little better at it, but you know what? Uh, fire suppression, you're going to see this throughout the videos because fire suppression is very important in any scenario, whether you're at home, whether you're abroad, whether you're out at the range, whether you're doing other stuff, all right? And this here is <laughs> my baby. This is my baby. She's been with me for a long time. Um, she is my little trick shooter, my fun shooter. I like taking long shots with her. I like, you know, shoulder firing it. All this is my 6.8 um, millimeter um, AR, all right? Armor light, by the way. AR does not stand for assault rifle. AR stands for armor light. All right? So it's not a machine gun, per se. It's actually uh, semi auto. So here is my bedside manner. Okay? Biometric, and it's biometric sentry safe. If you guys haven't seen those before, let's go ahead and take a look at it here. Sentry safe is just a bioelectric safe. Um, it gets your information, and only you can open it. And inside, you know, I keep some stuff ready. Um, and I keep this right by the bed. Um, and usually what I'll do is I'll have the good Lord right here, um, you know, as I leave for the day to go do my stuff. And, uh, and you know, I ask for his blessing every day. And I ask that he uh, have me not have to use this or any of this, you know, in self-defense. But I will. All right. For whatever reason, you can't get to your uh, firearms. You know, you always want to have some good blades around and stuff. Um, variable blades for variable things. You know, if you're going to use it for something, you know, um, self-protectionary, you want to make sure you can get the blade back if you have to use it that way. Um, really cool World War II bayonet. I love that. That was a gift from a friend. Um, this right here um, is basically my competition shooter. Uh, if I don't, you know, need to use it in regular life, I'd rather not. It's got a little too much power, 357 Magnum, and uh, you can get all kinds of rounds and stuff for it. Um, always have your safety gear for, you know, um, firing you know, when you go on firing range especially, you know, you want to make sure you have that. And, you know, and you want to know the range uh, protocol and stuff in range safety. Fire suppression, again, you're not going to uh, stop seeing it throughout these videos. And, of course, you want to have plenty of food to feed your pets, all right, to feed your friends, to feed your buddies uh, that you're going to be using out there at the range. And you just want to have whatever you can grab. Now, see, I don't – see, you guys know me. I don't mess around. I get um, fiat, fiat cash in my account, and I put it to work right away. I put it to work right away. So we got security. We got the Lord. We got security. All right? Safety, right? Okay? And the money. And you guys know I couldn't let you get away without seeing a little bit of money, right? Okay. So um, what do we have here? Ooh, graded. PF69 Ultra Cameo 2012. Ooh, 5-ounce koalas. Mm. If you guys haven't seen my early videos with these in there, I've got them in there. These are some ultra-high premium coins. They're not a very premium price. I think you can still get them online. Don't know where though. I think these came from Money Metal, not Money Metals, but uh, Modern Coin Mart. And of course, you know, some fiat cash. You want to have that. Small denominations, right? And fractional gold. Fractional gold is always good. Fractional gold is very good. 
for any of the stuff you want to do. Um, and uh, be able to transact out in the community. Uh-oh, must be a dog walking down the street. Look, basic tools, man. Basic tools. You got to think about this because, you know, like Silver Game of Thrones says, there's going to come a time when you have to do things for yourself, whether you have to fix, you know, um, something electrical or if you have to fix something mechanical at your home or if you have to replace, I don't know, window, whatever. Um, you want to make sure you have some tools and some power tools if you can get them, okay? You want to make sure these DeWalt's, by the way, you can get these for very cheap at a lot of the home uh, goods stores. Um, and they hold a tremendous amount of charge. This one here is not even the latest iteration at 20 volts max. This thing will take your wrist off if you try to lock it against something hard. And uh, it has to spin against you. I don't even know if I can hold it if I put all my weight behind it. And i got quite a bit of weight to put behind it. And this right here you saw earlier in the intro. This is a powered respirator. Okay, so it's 3M's version. Let's see if we can get that like that to go. Okay. And uh, that's basically how that works. It has, you know, a filter here. It has a face shield and stuff. And if you want to protect yourself from corona, that's definitely a way to do it. Let's see if we can shut this thing off. Oh, there we go. It's a little difficult to do that. And then for a lesser or a less severe scenario, you want your N95 mask if you can get them. I only got a couple um, back when I was um, doing some fire work. And um, so fire suppression again, all right? Fire suppression again. You, um, um, these right here, okay, let's go ahead and take a look at them. These are called Fire Gone, okay? And these are basically mini handheld trigger operated. You got to break the seal on them, right? Break the seal on them. And a trigger operated um, halon suppression system. So they basically will take out fires of all kinds, like really quick. They, they are very, very um, spirited. And when you fire them, they'll, they'll coat an area like no problem, but they're gone. When they're gone, they're gone. And you need multiples of them, I recommend. Keep them around. Um, look, so what do we got? We got the Lord. We got security. We got the money. Basic tools. Air. And now water. Okay, so water comes with very uh, different iterations in terms of being prepped. Okay, you want to have, of course, your bottled water supply, which is purified water, and you can get this almost anywhere. Well, I don't know if you still can, but you could. Um, just try to find it where you can find it for cheap, and understand that in some places, um, you're going to actually pay more for the deposit uh, cost, or the, uh, what do you call it, recycling cost, than you will for the actual water itself. It's very weird. Um, this is a standard hydration pack uh, based on the old Camelback. It'll hold, uh, I think, probably a gallon of water, okay, or two liters anyway, of water. And you can have that, you know, um, in, you know, on your back and some other stuff you can carry inside of there. You can have some security uh, features and some food um, stuff in there. Fire suppression again, all right? But if you cannot have purified water and you don't have any with you mobile, all right, you can um, have filtration systems. Now, the most basic filtration system you can have is called a life straw. You guys have seen these, they've been around for a while. You can get them for about 20 bucks and you probably want to go ahead and get yourself a couple of those and have them because um, you wouldn't do this, but if you had to drink water from a very unsanitary place, you could do it. Um, you know, the less sanit you know, the more sanitary the better, but what have you. This right here is a water bob and this is a lister bag basically for your bathtub. You put it in your bathtub and it stores up to 100 gallons of fresh drinking water um, if you can get fresh drinking water in it, or if you can just get water like this, in which case you want to be able to filtrate it after you, um, you know, get it safe from your tub, either through a life straw, you know, directly, or you want to try to filter it in a system like this, and this is called the First Need XLE Water pur Purification System, and this thing, it works really fast. I mean, it can, you know, uh, purify a lot of water, um, you know, really fast, and I don't see anything specific about how much it can do it. I think it's on the inside. But anyway, first need XLE, okay, water purification system, okay. So purified water, water in your backpack, right? Then um, filtering water that you might store in a larger area, all right? And then, of course, your personal um, filtration system when you're out and about. You can actually have that in your backpack and stuff, all right? So, oh, fire suppression, look. So now we get to the food. So we had water, air, food, okay, air, water, food. Now we're on the food, and this right here is long-term storage, okay? So this is Wise Company, Wise Company. There's a bunch of companies out there to make this stuff. Um, you can do your own variant of long-term storage food, okay? But hang on. So you see right there these gamma buckets. They're called gamma buckets. You can get them from home, uh, home uh, repair stores, you know, home uh, stores. And uh, they're duty, you know, heavy-duty and BPA-free, all right? And you can store stuff in them. And then, you know, you can get, you know, like, long-term uh, powdered milk alternative and stuff. And these are foods for ex extreme cases, all right? Extreme cases. You want to make sure that you don't have anything else left, and then you go to these. Use these last. 
Um, of course, you know, my Everclear um, has variable uses. It can be used medically to disinfect areas. It can be used um, as alternative fuel to fuel something if you need to do that. All right. And um, you can, uh, of course, use it to party <laughs> if you want to do that. And I'm using it here recently to make um, additional hand sanitizer, you know, by putting other uh, emollients inside of it and using that. Um, for your foods and stuff, um, I take supplements, okay? And, you know, we'll go through these one more time. This is a, a type of fish oil, krill oil. Wellness is a basic multivitamin, okay? Um, Kirkland chewable uh, vitamin C, which is just chewable vitamin C, standard vitamin C. C60 olive oil, okay, which I got off of Amazon. Then, of course, the vitamin D and the chaga um, uh, tablets. Now, you can get chaga powder, you can get chaga, chaga extract. Tea, I think they have, um, if you can find it. Um, but chaga tree mushroom is really good, working with vitamin C, by the way, to boost your immunity. Um, also have some elderberry gummies, but I didn't bring them out here. And but trust me, they, uh, they're very good in bolstering this other stuff and helping to build your immune system, but they work better at night than they do in the morning. So try to save the elderberry stuff for at night, if you can, um, and take everything else, you know, one to two times a day, depending, like this would be in the morning, okay, in the evening. And uh, this would be in the morning, once a day, these are twice a day, morning and evening. These are throughout. Whenever you feel like you need to take some of these, if you're exposed, you know, in an area or something like that, just go ahead and load up on those. I don't even put a limit on those because they're easily ingestible. They're not going to hurt your system too badly, and they provide a lot of immunity. Okay. Now, I want to backtrack a little bit because I got my gamma bucket here that has my long has my version of long-term food storage. There's Wise Company's long-term food storage, but my bucket broke. I noticed that, and this is really good that I went through this prep today. Because by going through this prep today, I found out my bucket broke, so I had to open it up. And mind you, I filled this thing in 2013, seven years ago, when I first started prepping, before I bought any gold or silver, before I bought any gold or silver, I was doing all this stuff first, all of this stuff first, before I bought any gold or silver, or even put cash away. I was doing all this stuff first. Now, I opened up this camel bucket that I filled up, and look, I got beans and rice. And by the way, if you haven't read my book on Amazon, it's an electronic book called Beans and Rice, 17 Different Ways. Please pick that up. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I never wrote a book like that. A book like that doesn't exist. It's totally a joke. Okay. So beans and rice. Uh, what, wow. Table salt. Right. Okay. And various canned meats. Um, olives. Wow. Okay. Chicken. Hey. Bullion for soups and stuff. Smoked sardines. Corned beef. All this stuff. I got some Denison's chili down there. Got some more chicken breast. And so this is basically just like some kind of action pack where you have a little bit of spices, you have a little bit of bullion, you've got your rice and beans, and you got your meat and stuff. There's really no vegetable type stuff in here because you're hoping on a farmer's market to get your fresh vegetables and stuff. You want to make sure you get those as fresh as possible. Not out of a can, but these extreme things you want to get, you want to keep in a can. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and break from this and I'm going to continue um, with the rest of the preps, we're going to do it in two parts because it takes so long for this thing to load. It, it's amazing to me. Dog, what are you doing? All right, we'll be right back.